Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I am going to share with you my absolute favorite top 10 nude lipstick shades from the drugstore. There are a bunch of different finishes included in this video, so I'm going to be talking about really my favorite nude lip colors because some of these are glosses, some of them are liquid lipstick formulas, but I just think nude lipstick sounds the best, so we're just gonna kind of roll with that term a little bit loosely. A couple things I want to tell you about this video. First of all, I will be showing you lip swatches of everything. I'm gonna put a little title down here at the bottom that tells you the brand, the shade name, and also the finish. Second of all, I only included what I consider to be true drugstore products, so even though I love my ColourPop lipsticks, I could do a whole favorite ColourPop lipsticks video. Leave a comment if you're interested in seeing that. And some of us are able to walk into Ulta and buy ColourPop in store, but for this video, I really stuck to things that you could walk into a Target or Walgreens, CVS, and purchase truly in that drugstore makeup setting. So we've got a range of formulas, finishes, prices. Because I'm talking about my favorites, a lot of these do tend to look pretty similar. These shades are all gonna be really in that same medium nude, warm nude type of family. And that's just because that's my favorite thing to wear. That's what I'm drawn to. So a lot of my favorites are going to be pretty similar. So by no means is this video a go out and buy all 10 of these. It's really just a guide for you if you're interested in the same kind of nude shades that I am. You can probably find one or two here that you want to add to your wish list. Let's just talk a little bit about the term nude lip color. What is nude for one person is going to look pink or brown or coral or wiped out white on somebody else. Nude really just means a natural lip color and we all have different natural pigmentation to our lips so different nudes work for different skin tones. So with that idea in mind my favorites are obviously the kind of nude shades that are going to work for my personal skin tone which is pretty light. However since I prefer a more medium nude I think that my favorite nude lip shades are really going to work well for people who not only have a lighter skin tone like me, but all the way up to people who are more tan or medium skin toned. However, after I swatch my top 10, I am going to give you some recommendations for nude lip colors that would work for fairer than me skin tones and deeper than me skin tones. I can't pinpoint everyone's preference and every single skin tone in the world, but it's really important to me to give recommendations to anybody who might be watching this video. So after I go through lip swatching my top 10 favorites, I'm going to give some suggestions if you feel like maybe my recommendations are too deep for you or too pale for you. I'm going to include a couple of shades for you as well. So hopefully everybody can find something that they love, their perfect nude, at an affordable price from their local drugstore. I'm not going to give a full rundown or review on every single brand and formula that I include. I know that three out of the ten have dedicated lip swatch videos with the entire line, an entire review, so if you're interested, go down to the description box and check those out. And if you don't see a review on something that you want to hear more about, leave a comment and I will try to either answer your questions or maybe we can make a whole nother video. But let's jump into the lip swatches. These are in no particular order. I'm not ranking them one to 10. These are all just my favorite shades and my favorite formulas from the drugstore.
you know that this is a favorite because I have the old school one that I bought like three years ago and then they repackaged when they went cruelty free. So Sultry Sienna has been my girl for a long time. That's the one I'm wearing too. I just, I love this color. Okay, so now that you've seen my personal top 10, I want to give you two recommendations. If you are much fairer than me or if you feel like my picks are just a little bit too deep for your preferences. These are two shades that I would recommend from formulas that I really love. I feel they're just a little bit too light for me, but if you have a paler skin tone, then you'll probably love these. If you have a much deeper skin tone than me, or if you just prefer a richer, deeper lip color, then here are four suggestions of some of my absolute favorite go-to formulas from the drugstore. I'm gonna lip swatch them for you now. Those are all of my recommendations, all of my most favorite drugstore nude lip colors. I also want to give a little shout out, honorable mention to this one. This is the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer in the shade Praline. This is literally always out of stock, so I didn't want to include it in the video because I don't even know if they're making this shade anymore. But if you happen upon this, or if you have it, if you see it come in stock, comment, let us know. But this is definitely one of my all-time top favorites. I just don't know if they're making this color anymore. Maybe it's discontinued. But the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer in the shade Praline. Honorable mention, shout out, e.l.f. Help us out hook us up with some more praline lip lacquer. I really hope that you found this video helpful. I tried my best to include all different kinds of formulas, shades, price points, finishes. Many of these products are from cruelty-free brands as well. So hopefully there's really something for everybody here. Now's the time when I wanna hear what your favorite drugstore nude lip colors are. As always, thank you so much for watching and for spending just a little bit of your day here with me. I truly appreciate you and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Most of my, <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> okay, it smells like cinnamon. Is that, is that a thing? It smells delicious. So shiny. I like shiny things. All natural nude. And I'm here to tell you that all your nudes are natural. Thanks for playing. She gets a little sassy when she gets around all these lipsticks. Liquid lip in matte beige, which is possibly the most Caucasian name that a lipstick has ever been given. Oh my gosh, it's just a joke. Don't get mad. No shade, Pixie. You're in my favorites video. It's just funny. It's fine. Let's move on. Uh, it smells so good. Mm, that was slightly inappropriate, but welcome to my channel. I can already hear people say that's not a nude. Well, you know what? I love this color, so here it is. This is too dark for you, get the Rebel Rose shade, but that one's too pink for me, I like this one. Just let me live with my $5 liquid lipstick, okay. What is going on with me? I am so sassy. Got that cat suit on and I start to feel feisty. <laughs> you know you're shooting a nude lip swatch video when? <laughs> They're all different, I swear. Even I know they all look the same. I've got a type, what can I say? 
oh, this color is everything. And it's like six bucks. What's not to love? And now I'm going to go surgically remove my lips because they feel terrible. I thought about this list for way longer than anybody should really worry about what their favorite lipsticks are. You know, when it comes to favorites, I don't take it lightly. Okay, we need a thorough favorites video. And I am insane. Okay, you're just, this is what? Wow, all right, we're good, that's fine. Is anyone surprised? No, no they're not, okay. Great, good job, all right, bye. Bye now, bye bye.